Hey there, my name is André and I'm here with another book review for you. This time I'm going to review a craft book for uh, creative writers. Uh, I'm a writer. I published five books already, but those were non-fiction books. Uh, very specialized software development books like, like this one, for example. And the thing about publishing these books is that uh, software development books are not really about prose or about genre techniques. When I decided that what I wanted to do was write fiction, uh, I was at a very strange position of being someone that had some experience with book publishing, but had zero experience writing fiction besides a couple short stories way back when. So I started collecting craft books. So one after the other, got gazillion craft books, some I love, some I hate. And I think that collecting and reading craft books is a, a way for me to procrastinate. I think that might be more common than many writers care to admit, uh, because it's much easier to, <laughs> to buy and read a craft book than actually sitting down and write. But in this quest to find the perfect uh, craft book and of enjoying, simply enjoying craft books, I came to realize that they come in different flavors. Uh, many craft books try to be like generic craft books that would be wonderful for literary fiction or for some, or, or even for like genre fiction as well. But they don't provide you with genre specific information. And that's a problem. Because even though there are good advice and good practices that apply everywhere, some genres have specific uh, tropes and characteristics that the readers expect. And many of those craft books don't touch them. For example, uh, crime fiction and cozy mysteries, things like Sherlock Holmes. There are rules, and those craft books will not talk about those rules. And if you come back to me and say, oh, rules are meant to be broken, yes, but you need to know them so that you can break them. Uh, avoid breaking rules unknowingly. <laughs> And, for example, people, uh, it's growing up, a lot of the trend I would see in, in books I was reading was like plot-driven books. And now readers appear to love character-driven books more. And lots of craft books talk about character development and how the character needs to change. Many characters in cozy mysteries don't change. They, they are the rock and the things change around them or they change very little. It's, uh, it's odd, you kind of need specialized books to, to write that kind of fiction. Or at least to write that kind of fiction in a way that is recognizable. And I decided to write fantasy. And I couldn't find good books about uh, crafting fantasy books. Or let's say Let's put fantasy and science fiction together as speculative fiction. There are fantastic books about the specific aspect of it. But there was no comprehensive book. And that's when I discover, and this being a long-winded intro to tell you that I found a book. In my everlasting procrastina procrastination of collecting craft books, I found the perfect craft book for those wanting to write speculative fiction. It's by Jeff Van Damia. You might remember him because he's awesome and you might have read his books. Uh, one of his books became a quite trippy uh, film, uh, Annihilation. I, I, I can't pronounce the, that word. It's the Southern uh, Reach trilogy that's in the Aria X, I think that some, I think that in North America might be Aria X, and here is Southern Trilogy, Southern Rich Trilogy, not sure. And there is the Ambergris uh, novels as well, like fantastic, weird writer. 
and he wrote a craft book. It's called the Wonder Book. It's this one here. It's a fantastic book. And it's quite comprehensive. It has everything about everything. And it's made for speculative writers. It's made to intrigue you, to, to inspire you. It's not like cold, boring rules and exercises, even though there are rules and exercises. But this book is anything but boring. Like any page you open, it's completely trippy. Like, this is one thing about this book, is that it's, its layout is very evocative. Uh, you cannot separate the textual content of this book from the presentation of this book. Uh, it's, a, it's a crucible. The text is meant to be presented in this trippy way. There are diagrams and characters. It's almost, as an, inter it's almost an interactive book. Uh, it's actually an interactive book because you have like little QR codes that you can scan and get extra information because there is a site for this book as well. And it will cover everything from, let's, from an introduction trying to figure out what speculative fiction is and uh, where to get inspiration. And then like ecosystem of stories, beginnings and endings, narrative design, characterization, world building, revision process, exercise. It has everything. And it is... Just fantastic, and it has a ton of quotes and guest chapters by renowned authors in multiple genres of science fiction and fantasy. And and that's it. Like what you might perceive as illustrations, they are not actually just artwork. They are part of the text. They are. It's a very unique craft book. And one that rewards reading and rereading and exploring and getting lost on the sections of it that inspire inspire you through its innovative design. I think that from all the craft books I have, this one is the one I cherish the most. Like, if I'm going to say what I like about it, <laughs> I will need to mention every single word, every single drop of ink in an artwork. I love everything. This is a book that's meant to uh, inspire your creative mind. It's trying to unite a, the technical aspect of writing a speculative novel with also the child, childlike wonder of creating things and being creative and thinking outside the box, which is necessary for speculative fiction. So, if you are an aspiring writer like me... Aspiring? Well, well I have five books, am I still aspiring? Like, I'm an aspiring fiction writer. Anyway, if you are a writer in the genre, and the multiple genres of speculative fiction, there are very few things that you can buy in terms of craft book that will put a smile on your face and activate your brain in the ways that this book will. It's like, I, I recommend it a lot. Uh, in this channel I'm going to review many craft books and I decided to start with this one for a reason. Because <laughs> I want to put the one that's fantastic and comprehensive first. If you're only getting one, get this one. Like it has everything you will find things in here that do not apply to your own writing. But you will also find things that will look like the writer wrote them specifically for you. And that's very hard to do when, you, when you're reading and you go like, okay, uh, he wrote this for me, he's been spying me in the evening and he's been picking up my brain while I sleep and he put this because he's trying to fix the current challenge I'm facing. Uh, it's, it's really wonderful. And, and I want to stress out how, 
how inspiring this book is with its layout. Let me see if I can find something here very quickly. For example, uh, it's talking here about prose styles, like lavish prose styles, fancy prose styles, and it's using images to display like cold prose style and fancy prose style. Like the imagery is fantastic. It, and if you stop to think, when we are when we are kids in school, a lot of our school books have lots of diagrams and ways to explain things visually. And somehow, as we grow up, we lose all those clever visual things. And, and, and I love prose, I love text, I love like just blocks of text. But there is, I don't know, some other part of your brain that is activated when you're trying to learn something and you also have visual artistic cues. It's basically engaging me in more than one way. It's engaging me using multiple senses. We say that when we are writing and you're writing like a description for a scene, you should engage the reader in multiple senses. This is what this book does. It engages you beyond your reading comprehension skills. And if if you're not yet intrigued by it, well, let me just say that the textual content is pretty spot on. And it touches all those... Uh, I don't know if you've read any book by Jeff Van der Meer, but those are fantastic books, like it's weird fiction. And this is a weird craft book. And helps you envision that you can be weird too that you don't need to write like everyone else, that you can find the confusing weirdness inside you and you can make it into a beautiful speculative fiction. What I would like to see more is that I would just like Jeff to keep writing craft books besides his amazing novels, because when I, when I reach the end of this book, I'm like, see? There was a cut here because I cursed, and I don't think if I'm allowed to curse on YouTube or not. Uh, but what I was saying is that when I finished this book, I was so impressed that I, I instantly started going back and trying to find the sections and chapters that apply to what I'm doing now. This is a book that I will come back over and over again. And what I would like to see more is... I don't know, I think I think we should have like a, a binder of blank pages with weird artwork for us to take notes and it should be a companion to this book. Because the way this book is, I can't scribble on it. Because all of it is full of wonderful content. This book has like illustrated marginalia, it has characters in speech bubbles saying things about the page. Uh, but I want to make notes, so I'm gonna do a binder of my own to go along with this book. But yeah, maybe a workbook would be great. So that's it for the for the Wonder Book. It's a fantastic addition to any creative writer. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get it. And I, I can't wait to see more people talking about it. I'll see you soon with more reveals, more creative writing stories from my own personal journey. And if you like this video, please comment, give me feedback. I'm just starting out, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I would love uh, to get some comments. I, I need to know where I'm getting it right. What should I do? Thank you and talk to you soon.